So hi, uh, for the lamp, the 12 volt lamp from the previous video, I decided to build a battery pack and I want to show you something uh, pretty convenient. This is the CF3SJH25 AMPC, which is a uh, three cells BMS and I'm going to test it now. And what I like to show is that it's pretty convenient to, to build a pack with this with this one because they have think about uh, the batteries already and if you are connecting the batteries like I did just a uh, minus plus and minus and you put the BMS on the battery so you have very short wires from the battery to the BMS point where you check the balance of the battery and uh, for a uh, extra question what I did I, I always like to put additional fuse I'm using here 10 amp fuse this is in case that everything is shorted and I don't want anything to, to catch fire and also before putting this uh, PCB on the, the board itself I'm using uh, this is transparent uh, you know for, for uh, writing uh, uh, things this uh, should uh, be good for above 100 degrees Celsius I never tried it but it will it can survive heat I think so I'm putting it just as an isolator between the batteries and the PCB because there are some contacts on the rear side of this PCB. So I want to share it with you. And next thing I want to see is that the BMS is doing the most important thing, which is uh, uh, protecting the batteries, of course, and protecting from uh, over voltage when I'm going to charge this pack. Or protecting from under voltage when I'm discharging and the under voltage you never know if it is 2.5 or 3 volts you, you have to, to try it and to see that below uh, some voltage it disconnect the load so let's test it so now everything is in the frame and I'm just connected the load to the back of the battery I am measuring just one of the cells because there are more or less all of them now balanced and now I will do a discharge and we will check that when it gets uh, to the critical point it is stopping the current uh, uh, going out so I am now connecting the battery and let's do a discharge so we will go uh, we'll go about 6 amps I want to use this cells maybe even 7 amps I want to use this cells for the lamp and I want to do a quick test I will reset the current now and eventually when it gets to a uh, below a uh, 2.5 uh, or 2.7 or 3 volts it depends on the BMS it will uh, it should stop the current out this is what BMS is doing so let's wait and check it and we see if uh, this really happens and uh, I want to remind you that this BMS is for 25 amps I'm not using such a high current out, I don't need it for lamp, I actually I need just one amp but this is what I currently have so I'm using this for, for this project eventually of course it is better to use a BMS with a lower current uh, that is suitable for the projects that uh, you want to use it of course but uh, this is what I have right now so uh, let's test it and see if it shut down uh, the output when the battery reach the critical level
So it did stop. In order to check it again, you can see that the voltage is up. So I will now disconnect the load and connect it again. And then <coughs> you can see that it, uh, it is working again. The batteries are a little hot. So again, let's load it with 4 amps and wait to see exactly what voltage the BMS is stopping the current out, current out. It stopped. So eventually it looks like it is doing it at 3 volts. And this is a very good protection, let's say, for the battery. Let's disconnect again. The BMS is checking that there is no load for a specific time. And then it trigger again. So you can see the voltage is, is very low because the BMS doesn't get voltage out. Let's check all the cells one by one. Ah, this cells. This one, the voltage is uh, maybe uh, the lowest voltage. Yes, so this is the cell that it is now uh, pro doing that protection. So it's not 3 volts. Let's check again. Okay, so let's uh, charge it and then uh, recheck what is happening so let's connect it now to charge so I will charge now at 2 amps Starting now. I just want to check what is the exact trigger point that the BMS is uh, stopping the current out at what voltage and we know that this cells is now in the middle is the lowest one so I'm now disconnecting the charge let's put uh, you can see that the voltage now is okay I want to see what is the cut of voltage so 3 volts still working so no cut of its reports we will find the exact point So 2.9 also good, maybe it's 2.8, no, still voltage out, maybe 2.7, this is the next point, again it's ok, 2.6, 2.5, so it stopped, so probably the cut off voltage for this BMS is 2.5 volts. Now I will charge it and basically we can see that the BMS is doing its protection in a correct way, so pretty okay. Uh, so I can recommend this one. Now I will charge it. 
and we will check when the cut off stop the voltage. So now of course the cells should get to 4.2 volts and then it should stop the charging process. of the battery here in this uh, LCD this process should take about 1 hour and 50 minutes because I'm charging a 2 amps continuous So let's wait to see when it is stopping. So charging continue and we are near the, near the limit. 404 volts. I remind you that the top is 4.2 for these cells and uh, it can be that the balancer will stop it at 425 but let's see what happened now currently everything is okay and it is charging we would like to see that the charge will cut off when the cell reach the 4.2 volts Four point thirteen. Waiting to reach the limit. We are very close. Let's see if the cutoff will work. So I've added a current tester all effect current tester it's on the opposite side but sorry for that we expect to see this at near zero when this reach 4.2 volts this is the charging current that I'm currently uh, charging Up. Did you see? It's cut off the voltage since it sends that it reached 4.25 volts. So this BMS is working as expected. And you can see that the voltage dropped to 4.15. So we can say that this is a recommended, recommended one. You can buy it and be quiet that it will do what it needs to do now at this moment I want to see what are the other cells voltage so I will go 
between the cells so one cell is 4.13 second is a little lower and the third is also 4.13 so as you can see recommended balancer BMS it has a balancer inside although I expect the balancer because it is with resistor and it is not active so I expect it to work only when charging with a very low current it will be able to do the balancing when you are charging at high current so usually the resistor doesn't help you a lot so don't uh, count off it hope you enjoy thank you and bye bye